Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Jedi Fallen Order. And I've been doing a bit of testing with the graphics settings off camera. And there's a scan over here. Good job. Scan the inscriptions, eh? Inscriptions. The vault is built out of carnite, a hard stone rich in minerals. Its inner walls are decorated with metallic plating and inscriptions. The glyphs don't return results in any galactic data bank, suggesting the language has been lost to time. That's a pretty fast search of various galactic data banks. I mean, we're kind of cut off here. <laughs> Well, whatever. And, yeah, so I've been testing out various graphical settings, and it looks like I need to keep it at medium. I think I what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Right, so as I was saying, I think I'm going to have to keep it at medium if I want to get a good, solid... FPS because even at medium with a big open scene like this the FPS is dripping uh, drooping a little bit dropping that is to say it's uh, in the high 50s but it was a rock solid 60 not that long ago so anyway so I have remembered what happens now We fight one of these things. Okay, so far so good. Scan it. Yes, I can. The Ogdo. Sever the tongue with a combination of the force and lightsaber attacks. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Ogdo is a highly threatening alpha predator at the top of the Bogano food chain. This creature attacks with an adhesive tongue capable of reaching 8 meters in length that latches onto its prey then pulls them into its jaws. This form of strike is particularly effective against most foes. Due to its thick hide, it is able to resist a straight-on lightsaber attack and is extremely dangerous at close range, often leaping at a target to close the distance. Yeah, I was able to block most of its attacks with properly timed blocks. It did still get me once or twice. Let's see. I guess I could just drop down over there. And I want to see what's over here. And there's a swinging rope. Okay. Yeah, let's see what's over here. Kind of fossil. Another one? Mysterious skeleton. And I got a skill point. The structure of these bones suggests a large reptilian creature. An analysis of elements within the bones date them to as old as a thousand years. Uh, most fossils take a lot longer than a thousand years to form. Yeah. Looks like there's something interesting down there. Can't get up 
there, okay. Abandoned workshop, all right. That's not opening. Locked from the other side, according to the message. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. BD-1 has a little light that turned on when I was in that darker area. That's useful. What's down there? Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Hmm. Maybe it was different back in their time. More to be discovered on Dathomir, okay. Hmm. Faded mural. A faded mural located on Bogano, not far from the Zepho vault. It is it likely represents a planet, but the artwork is too damaged to make out any specifics. Okay. There's something in here. A shortcut. Okay, but a shortcut to where? Alright, there's a meditation site. I know where I am now. And yeah, BD1 showing me the way back to the ship. But I don't want to go there quite yet. And let's see, I have a skill point. Question is where to spend it. Eh, more force power. Or another lightsaber skill. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's get the force power. There we go. View ability. It's not letting me view that. It's not really an ability anyway, it's just, you know, an increased stat. All right, so let's rest. And that should do it. Okay. Now I want to know more about what's up in here. Looks like there's something down there. Can I open the way somehow? Let's see. Where am I exactly? Okay. There is definitely an area down there because I'm kind of standing in midair on the hollow map. But then the question becomes how to get down there. Hmm.
pushed the wrong button there. Alright then. Okay, I think I see. I have to repair BD1's leg so he can slice that for me, which would probably open the door down there. And that's how I proceed on down there. Or maybe maybe there. Anyway, I have to repair BD1 and he'll open the door for me. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about over here still. There's a, a force echo over there. I can see it glowing from here, but I wasn't able to get through there last time. I mean, I could get into the area. That's easy enough. Yeah, I can get into the area. And, I mean, I could slow down those fans underneath. But it doesn't matter if I slow them down. I still get hurt and sent back if I drop down into that area. So either I have to find another way around, but this is not one of those runnable walls. Or, I don't have the ability to do this yet. Oh, I wasn't aiming for that fan over there. sure what to do with that thing over there. Okay, so... And jump over here. Go up this way. And more gophers running away from me. Scanning the gophers. Making a new friend. Boglings. Oop, wrong button. Uh, boglings. Boglings are small creatures endemic to Bogano. Natural escape artists, they evolved to run on their toes. This technique allows them to quickly change direction or jump while navigating Bogano's mix of rocky and marsh like terrain. Their furry bodies compensate for the heat lost through their bare feet. Okay. And, hmm, so there's that bridge right there. I can't pull it down, it would seem. There's something down, there it is. Yeah, I f on my first aborted playthrough slash let's play attempt, I actually fought that thing down there, and it was tough. I wonder if I could do a better job this time. Well, you only live once and all. 
Ah. So, when you die, you lose all your XP gain since your last skill point. Damaging the enemy who killed you will restore your lost XP and refill your life and force max. Okay. Alright. So much for you only live once, I guess. Yeah, I didn't do too well the first time either. Are you going to scan him? Do I already have that scan? Hmm. Yep, I guess I did not lose the scan even though I just had to reload. Sort of reload. It smells worse than Grease does. There we go. Oh, come on. Call BS on that one. split second longer before trying to dodge that one. Yeah, but it'll probably take me a while before that timing is actually instinct. Two tries. Well, three tries. Only three tries. Okay. Okay, I can't slice him up anymore. Seem happy.
Yeah, okay, I can't open that. Where Boggling was killed. Is it trying to defend its family? Three life es one of three life essence acquired. This Boggling fought back to protect against an Ogdo, desperately trying to protect his family. So a life essence. So basically this game has pieces of heart. Okay. I didn't quite figure that out last time. Whoa. There's the way out. Um, there we go. Right, where am I now? Uh... Oh, I'm right here. Okay. Back at this thing. Not too sure what to do about it, so I'm just going to proceed. Let's actually save. Since I succeeded at that fight, don't want to lose the progress. Oh, and I'm halfway to the next skill point already. That's pretty fast progress. Is there anything else around here worth checking out? No, I've already been this way. This is the way I went the first time through. Yeah. Yeah, nothing else here. All right, then. From here, it would look, it would appear. Uh, let's see. I'll bet if I can get BD1 to check out that rusted thing directly across from me, he can activate the mechanism. And extend the bridge? Maybe? I don't know. And we're really curious about being over there. I can't do it from here. Okay, this is a going to be a some interesting parkour. Sliding down there to a wall I can run through and then over to some vines. No problem. Okay, and there was a ramp going down here. Where does it lead? Oh, hey there, little guy. Ah, one of those gophers. Hmm. 
So that thing's glowing red, like in a, I can affect it with a force power I don't have yet. And this looks like a climbable wall. And this thing's also glowing red. Alright, looks like there's nothing I can do down here yet. Well then... Back up we go. Scan? Oh. Nice job. Boggling tunnel, huh? Boggling tunnels connect their nests and serve as a natural defense against predators. Able to dig five meters per day. That's... Well, five meters isn't all that far. But anyway, able to dig five meters per day, Boglings collaborate in heckles, or large packs, spending approximately one-third of their lifespan digging the intricate tunnel network. Okay, I'm missing one Bogling study scan. Where else can I go while I'm here? Eh, I think right now I'm basically out of options. I'll have to come back later when I have more powers. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. <laughs> BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum meat fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Huh. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. Alright, well where are we going now? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. Hmm. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir is Zepho. It's your choice. Okay. 
That didn't really explain very much about her, did it? Okay. After revealing she no longer uses the Force, Sari sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid named BD-1 who joined his quest. On their journey, Cal reached out to the Force, remembering his ability to wall run. Inside the vault, BD projected a message from Master Eno Cordova, detailing how he hid a holocron containing a list of known Force-sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of three Zepho sages. With BD's aid, Cal embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Again, he had to have hidden that holocron in there at least five years ago. Force-sensitive children? How many of them are still children? How many of them are even still alive? Well, anyway... Let's see. Sarah reveals her mentor was a Jedi named Eno Cordova, a loner who studied lost cultures and often challenged the wisdom of the Jedi Council. While the two remained in contact throughout her years as the Jedi Knight, they were never very close. Yeah. I guess it happens that way sometimes with apprentices and masters. Hmm. Let's see, nothing else? Looks like that's it. When you want to go, let me know. I'll be right here. All right, then. Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. <laughs> but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarring glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Well, we already found one. That one, which hasn't grown yet because we just planted it. All right, then. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. Hmm. I'm just wondering how much more about her plan she's not telling us. Is it really just the two of them, or is there anyone else involved that they haven't mentioned yet? Picking our next destination? Follow your instincts. Okay, so right now we're on... Bogano and there's still more to explore but yeah I'm most of it we definitely can't even get to and if there is anything we can get to uh, probably too little to really make any much difference Dathomir we could go there but the game seems to be directing us to Zepho I mean that is where the next um objective is we could do things out of order but honestly I'm probably not good enough for this game yet to do that so sure let's take things in order for now
have to hold down. If the order thing is rebuilt, you think any Jedi will come out of hiding? Mm, what makes you think there are Jedi hiding? No, I'm just curious. Is there someone specific you're thinking of? Well, growing up, we heard tales of a green, pointy-eared, legendary Jedi Master, and... Are you talking about Master Yoda? Yes, he is very legendary. Wait, what? Who? No, no, I'm talking about Master Yaddle. The Jedi High Council member? Yeah, we all have our dreams, okay? Let me have mine. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Get over here, kid. We're about to land. Okay. Right, here we are. A storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. <laughs> oh. Couple bums ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> 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 Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's Crazy gonna take me money. a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Greasy money. Oh, funny. Grease. Yeah. Very funny. Over here. You did good work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordoba was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Hmm. So that seems to imply that Cordova was at least researching the Zepho a long time which in turn implies that he hid that holocron there a long time ago much longer than merely five years let's see so wasn't what were the two pieces We found two pieces in treasure chest, but I don't remember. Ah. Valor and wisdom. There's one of them. Eh, why not? Hmm. Is that supposed to look like Luke Skywalker's lightsaber from The Empire Strikes Back? No, not The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, Return of the Jedi. The new one he made for that movie. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing new here, okay. Right, let's save. And that should do it. No skill points to redeem, no life to recover, we're fine. Okay, where's the exit? There it is.
Bit of a rough landing, eh? Oh, we did it. We did it. I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Who are you talking to? Uh, just my ship. The Manus. Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day, when you're done with your Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. <laughs> sure. Nothing over here. What is that supposed to be? Fog? Pretty sheer drop there. Pretty sure this door is locked from this side. That's yep. not moving. And a big hangar with stuff in it. Another scan, eh? Storage crate. Sturdy storage containers to transport fragile goods. The outside is made of heavy metal that can easily withstand Zephyr's high winds. Okay then. It's locked down. Okay, can't get through there. Chest. What is it? Poncho material. Bravo. Um. Okay. Seems to blend in slightly better than the shining white of this one. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, let's see. What else? Stormtroopers, eh? Anything else hidden around in here? Not really. Okay, well, I can't get through the door back there, so I guess this path here is my only real option. Oh, look at that. A pair of beasts trying to eat a stormtrooper. Watch out, PD. They don't look friendly. Scanning the stormtrooper, eh? Cal, can you hear me? 
The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. All right. Be careful about it. Got a scan? I'll check it out. Scout Trooper Baton. Imperial Excavation. Ah. Hmm. Imperial Electro Baton given to troopers stationed in remote areas where unexpected threats may arise. These weapons were crafted from the same components as Clone Wars era Electro Staffs, but have updated Imperial modifications. Locked from the other side. Okay, so far every door I've encountered has been hiding another way forward. So obviously I have to go the long way and then open them that way. Okay. If this isn't some kind of ambush, I will eat my poncho. Aha. Oh, it worked. Good job. Yeah, I tried that um, that overhead slash that I unlocked with my very first skill point. Skaz, capable of two different attacks, will bite at a prey's heel or lock them down with a leap that cannot be blocked. Opportunistic, often surrounding prey when they are locked down. Scaz are most commonly found in the shade or dark areas where they can maintain cooler body temperatures. Due to poor vision, they are especially vulnerable in bright light. They are most dangerous in packs, often biting and locking their jaws onto prey, providing an opportunity for the others to strike. Okay. Yeah, I actually used that overhead strike I unlocked with the very first skill point on that last one, and it just sliced it right in two. Okay, so that's the jump button. I gotta remember that. There we go. So far, it's been fairly simple. Um, oh, I'm hearing laser blast. Okay, I got a skill point. I want to use it. Why is she standing there rather than working on the comms? Isn't that what she said she was doing? Oh, whatever. Guess she's taking a lunch break. Superior blocking. Cal's defenses are improved, allowing him to take less block stamina damage from incoming attacks. So basically, I can block more attacks before it staggers me. So, yeah. Overhead slash. This was the first one I unlocked. I could get the dash strike, which causes me to run forward and attack, 
or run forward and then jump over something. Whoa, wait a second. I need two skill points to unlock this one. And not because this one costs one skill point, but after I've unlocked this one, I need two more to unlock this one. Wow. Huh. Okay, well. That's for the future anyway. Let's see. So I can get the dash strike or superior blocking or empowered slow. So in either slow target, slow I things for longer, or get a charging attack, or be able to block better. Huh. This is surprisingly difficult to choose. You know, I'm... Mm, better blocking is tempting. But I haven't been doing that all that much. I've been... You know, I've been using timed blocks to stagger my opponents. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it for Empowered Slow. Uh, okay, let's go with Dash Strike. Okay. So I hold down the Y button to do a charging attack like that. And then at the last moment, push the jump button if I want to flip over. Okay. All right, that should do it. I think I'm ready. Okay, we're a bit past the 50 minute mark. Sympathy, and then immediately undercut by complete lack of same. Okay, what? Do they not see me standing here? Hmm. Interesting looking place. pushing the block button, but it didn't quite work fast enough, and I still took a hit. Aha! Hey now. What is it? New emitter. Duty and resolve. Hmm. Hmm. Can 
Can I not grab onto that right there? No, apparently not. Okay. Fine. <laughs> he looks kind of silly jumping while trying to grab hold of something. Really gently. Uh, I didn't want to fall all the way down. Oh well. What? A sign, eh? That's the Imperial symbol there. Well done. A warning? This area is off limits. Imperial code 94364. No selling or trading. Selling or trading. That seems like an odd restriction. Does that just mean no solicitors in general, or no uh, selling artifacts that you find in the area? Zepho Abandoned Village. It's so quiet since we relocated the villagers. Yeah, all there is to worry about is the local fauna. Oh yeah, there's that. Nothing worse than that though, right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Nothing bad at all. <laughs> you saw that too, right? What? Well, you seem to be doing good accounting for yourselves. Yep, there we go. You got him. Oh, wrong button. That's what I wanted to do. Force echo here. Take her and go. I'll lead them away. Huh. Master, no. Huh. The Zepho villagers. A bag left by a family as they became separated. The father caused a distraction, allowing the mother to escape with their child. So are these actual Zepho people, or are the Zepho really gone? Because the way Eno Cordova was talking before, it sounded like the Zepho were extinct. Yes, you are approaching me. <laughs> Including you. Um. Okay, I was trying to put away the lightsaber, and for some reason he was twirling it. Took a couple... Okay, who was that? Or more it's precisely... All lies. The Empire just wanted this land. Eviction notice. Civilians must immediately report for relocation. Looters will be shot. In accordance with Imperial Code 94364, no selling or trading without proper authorization and explicit consent. This property and its belongings are now under the protection of the Galactic Empire. General Markon, 201st Squadron. Uh, 
Okay, but yeah, was it actual Zepho people or was it humans who had moved in later? Because yeah, Eno Cordova made it sound like the Zepho were extinct. <laughs> Okay, so this sign must have been for the villagers. You know, the, you know, no selling stuff. What is that? Is it just a decoration that's rolling on the ground? Or is it something significant? see anything up here. All right, then. How'd you get down there? How'd I get down here? By just walking. How'd you get up there? Here's a thing to climb. Ah, uh, treasure chest. Okay. Okay, go for it. Ouch, he actually did hit me. Uh. Come back here. Oh, he will. Get, be patient. So what was in there? Outfit material, guardian. You can change outfit's color in the pause menu. Okay. Customization. Outfit. Okay. Rigger crew. Guardian. Oh, that's the underclothes. Okay. So let's temporarily take the poncho off. Darn it. There we go. And now... Yeah. Brighter colors? Well... Right now, standing out as a target isn't the greatest of ideas, even though this seems to be purely cosmetic. Let's roleplay a little bit. Stick with the darker colors. And this poncho here. Whoa, the door opened. None of the others have opened. Meditation spot? Sure, why not? Okay. No skill points, but I am missing a bit of life. And the enemies have respawned. Okay, no problem. Oh, and also we're past the one hour mark, so... Thanks for watching, viewers, and...
Okay, what was I saying? Um, right, so we're past the one hour mark. Thanks for watching, viewers. I'm going to cut the video here. Oh, just an, just an animal. Fair enough. Anyway, so... <laughs> I keep getting delayed by people talking. Anyway, so, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, viewers. Later. Later.